Hi guys, how are you doing today? So today we're going to start our lesson. It's going to be chapter 10, uh, Citizen Farsad um, of uh, Table of Two Techniques. So let's start. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, read the story and we're going to discuss it together. Um, so here we go. Uh, Charles Darnay stood outside the courtroom who was free. He held Lucy in his arms. He's innocent. I have saved him, said Dr. Manning. Let's go home now. They returned to their rooms near the bank. Jerry Country and Miss Cross went out to buy some wine. A little later, the doctor was talking to Charles and Lucy. Suddenly, some revolutionary guards came into the room. Okay, so uh, here, uh, after the name was out, and he was announced that he was innocent. Uh, who saved him? Dr. Manet, of course, he saved him. And uh, he said, okay, let's go home now. He said that to Lucy and Charles Darnay. Uh, after they returned to their room, uh, Jerry Cruncher and Miss Cross, they went to buy some wine. And um, while the doctor was talking to Charles again, the revolutionary guards came in the room again and they took Charles. They arrested Charles again. Okay, so let's continue. Why is he under arrest? Asked Dr. Manette. There was a trial. He was not guilty. He's free now. There will be another trial tomorrow, said the guard. What has he done wrong? Said Dr. Manette angrily. Who accuses him? You will know tomorrow, said the guard. The guards took Darnay back to Lafour's prison. Lucy cried. Her, her father held her in his arms. I have saved him once, said Dr. Manette. I'll save him again. I'll speak at the trial tomorrow. Okay, so here uh, it shows that Dr. Manette was angry. Why was he angry? Because they took Charles again uh, to the prison. Um, so when he asked what's wrong, what he did wrong, uh, who accuses him? So who says that he made another bad thing or that he needs to go to jail again or he needs to go to prison again? So they told him that you will know tomorrow. So they didn't want to tell him the reason. They didn't, tell, they didn't want to tell him um, why, why, he, why he's going back to prison. Um, also, uh, they took him back to La Force prison. Lucy cried again. And uh, Dr. Manette promised her that uh, he saved him once and that he's going to save him again. And that he's going to speak at the trial tomorrow again. Okay, next, uh, Jerry Cruncher and Miss Pross were looking at, uh, sorry, Jerry Cruncher and Miss Pross were looking for some wine. They went into Monsieur and Madame de Vosges' wine shop. Miss Pross saw a man inside the shop. She cried out, Solomon. What do you want? said the man in English. He was angry. Solomon, said Miss Pross. You're my brother, Solomon. I haven't seen you for many years. Be quiet, said the man. I have a different name now. I'm a revolutionary officer. I'm an important man in the Republic. His name is Citizen Brassad, said another man. They all turned and looked at the person who had spoken. Their name, said Brassad. Why are you here? No, I'm not Charles Darnay, said the man. My name is Sidney Carton. You saw me at the trial in London. My face is like Darnay's face, but I'm not Darnay. Okay, so here, uh, when Jerry Cruncher and Miss Pross, they went to get some wine, um, where did they go? They went to Monsieur and Madame de Vosges' wine shop. So who did Miss Pross see there? She saw her brother, her brother, uh, and she called him Solomon. Uh, so his, her brother was angry. Why was he angry? Because now he has another name, a different name. His name now is Barsad. And that he told her that uh, he's now a revolutionary officer and that he's an important man in the Republic. Okay? Suddenly, uh, 
one uh, a, a person came in and he said that his name now is Citizen Prasad. Who do you think this person is? So it was Sydney Corton, but Prasad thought that he was charged on name. Why? Because they look alike. They have the same face. So uh, Corton told Barsad that no, he's not uh, Charles Darnay, and that he saw him at London, and that his face is like Darnay's face, but he's not Darnay. Okay, so let's continue. I want to see Darnay and his wife Lucy, Corton said. Where are they? Darnay is under arrest, said Barsad. He's in the forced prison. He will go to the guillotine. Okay, so here, Sidney Carton wanted to see uh, Darnay and Lucy. What do you think he wanted to see them? Maybe because he knew that um, uh, Darnay is going to prison again and he wants to help him. Maybe he just wanted to see Lucy. So we'll know about this in the next chapter. However, um, Barsat told him that their name is under arrest and that he's in the forced prison and that he's going to go to the guillotine again. Okay, so uh, this is going to be our chapter for today, guys. Um, and next we're going to discuss the questions that we have in our uh, IL booklet. Okay, so here are the questions that we have uh, for chapter 10. Uh, just make sure that um, you answer these questions. That's going to be your homework as well, uh, answering the questions of chapter 10. Um, and la let's go through the questions now. So um, here, the first question is saying, is saying that a tale of two cities, a good title for this story, here are some other possible titles. Okay, so here he wants to he wants you to um, just choose a title and say why. This is your own opinion of the story itself, so it depends on you. So just choose one of the titles. Um, okay, so uh, number B. What other titles can you think of? So here it's asking you to uh, create a title yourself. Just put a title from your own head um, to the story and just tell us why. Okay, number two. Why do you think Charles Darnay was under arrest again? Okay, why do you think he was under arrest again? Because um, Charles Darnay was one of the aristocrats. So do you think that they're going to leave him just go like, just like that without uh, being guilty or without uh, letting him go to the guillotine? Uh, I think not. So, Charles Darnay was under arrest again because somebody else has accused him of something wrong he did. Okay? Number three, Miss Pross met someone in the wine shop. Discuss. Okay. So, who did Miss Pross see in the wine shop? She saw a man that she didn't see uh, in a long time. And this man was her brother, her brother Solomon. So when she called him Solomon, he told her angrily, no, don't call me Solomon. I have another name now. My name is Barsad. I'm a revolutionary official. And I'm an important man in the Republic. Okay, number four. Why do you think Sidney Carton wanted to see Sid, uh, Darnay and Lucy? Okay, this question depends on your own opinion. So, if you see that Sidney Carton wants to see Lucy because uh, he loves her, it's fine. If you see that Sidney Carton wants to see Darnay and Lucy because he wants to help Darnay to uh, get out of prison, or uh, if you read the story, you, you will know what's going to happen, but it, it depends on your own opinion, to be honest. Okay? Number five. Was Dr. Manette angry when the guard came and why? So, uh, as we said, yes, Dr. Manette was, was angry when the, guard, uh, when the guard came 
Uh, why? Because uh, Charles just came out of prison, and Dr. Manet defended him. He saved him. He should, he should have saved him, and he should be innocent. So why is he going back to prison again? That's why Dr. Manet was angry. Okay, so let's move to the comment part. Um, first one is, I have a different name. Now I'm a, re a revolutionary officer. I'm an important man in the Republic. Okay, uh, this is a really important comment. Um, this comment was said by uh, Solomon, or Barsad, to Ms. Pross when she called him Solomon by his real name because he's her brother, she didn't see him in a while for a long time. Uh, so now he said that now I have a different name. Uh, make sure in the comments part you uh, mention uh, who said this to who, when and where. So this was said also in um, uh, Monsieur and Madame de Branche's uh, wine shop. Okay? Number two, no, I'm not Charles Darnay. My name is Sidney Court. Okay, so uh, it's um, it's showing from the comment itself that uh, the that the one who's talking is Sidney Carton. So Sidney Carton said these words to Barsad when Barsad uh, thought that. He is Charles because uh, they have the same the same face. They look similar. Where was it? It was in Monsieur and Madame de Valge's wine shop as well. Number three, their name is under arrest. He's in the fourth prison. He will go to the guillotine. Okay. So who said this to who? Uh, this was uh, Barsad. He said this to Sidney Carton. When was it? Uh, it was uh, at the wine shop as well. When uh, Sidney Carton was asking about Lucy and uh, Darnay, because he wanted to see them. So, Barsat told him that Darnay is now under arrest and that he's now in the fourth prison. Number four, his innocence. Let's go home now. Okay, this was said after the trial. Uh, Dr. Manette said this to um, Lucy and to um, Charles Darnay as well. Uh, he told them that uh, he saved him, he saved Charles after the trial, and that they can go home now together. After that, they returned to their room near the back. Okay, let's go to the complete. I have saved him once. I will save him again. I will speak at the trial tomorrow. Darnay is in the fourth prison. He will go to the guillotine. My name is Sidney Carton. You saw me at the trial in London. My face is like Darnay's face. Okay, so guys, this is going to be the um, the chapter, chapter 10. Uh, just make sure that you study it hard. Make sure that you answer the questions, please. The homework is going to be answering chapter 10 questions uh, in the booklet. It's going to be page uh, 47 and page 48. Okay? Thank you so much.